We're here to explain the delta or relative function that you'll find on meters, and we're using the Fluke 87.5 as the example. One of the main reasons for the delta or relative mode is when I have a set of lead resistance on test leads, any set of lead is going to have a certain amount of resistance, so I have 0.4 ohms that are in these leads. If I want to measure something accurately, I either have to mentally subtract that, or if I hit the relative mode, it takes that reading and it makes it zero. So now everything I measure will have that subtracted out of it and I'll get a more true reading. Another good use for the relative mode is if I want to see a voltage drop between the source and the load. I can go to the source, hit the relative mode, it goes to zero. If I then go out to the load and I read minus 10 volts, then I know I have a 10 volt voltage drop between the source and the load. So that can be a very handy function. This function, though, can be combined with several other functions within the Fluke 87 to help you troubleshoot some more complex problems. I'm just going to plug in, go to our sine wave. So here we have a 117 volt sine wave. So if I was going to go to the source and then hit the relative, that goes to zero. If I now went out to the load and saw minus 10 volts, I would know I would have a voltage drop. But this, as I said, this function can be, kind, be combined with a couple other ones. Right now, we're looking at 118 volts, which is the RMS value of this sine wave. If I hit the peak min max mode, now with the fast peak mode, I can actually measure the peak at 167 volts. And with min max, I can hit that, and now I hit the negative 166 volts. Where the relative mode comes in is I can now make this negative a zero. So if I hit relative, that becomes zero. And now I'm measuring the peak to peak of 330 volts of this sine wave by using a combination of the fast min max and the relative mode. Where for a sine wave, this might not be so handy. When you're working on a square wave coming off an encoder, what you really want to see is this 0 to 5 volts, is it 0 to 12 volts? So by having that relative mode and the peak min max, you'll be able to check your square waves a whole lot better. So that's how we can use the relative mode on the Fluke 87 to troubleshoot a number of different situations that we're working on.